starting off with an app called Save Up. Think of it as a simple personal savings companion for anything you're working toward, whether it's a new phone, a trip you've been planning, or just building an emergency fund. You can create your own savings plans, add deposits or withdrawals, and watch your progress update in real time. The visual tracking is the best part because it shows you how close you are, how many days remain, and even lets you bundle goals together. Since it's built with material you design, it shifts colors nicely and supports dark mode. It works offline, supports every currency, has local backups, and it's completely free. The developer behind Everplan actually created this as well, so big credit to them for the work. Next is MasterKey, a privacy-focused password manager that keeps everything strictly offline. Instead of syncing your passwords to the cloud, this app stores your login details, payment cards, and crypto keys directly on your device only. Everything is protected with local encryption and you can generate strong passwords inside the app. Your logins can be neatly organized into collections and access is locked behind one master password you set yourself. No ads, no tracking, no servers, just your data fully in your hands. And if the interface looks familiar, it's because it comes from the same team that created Pixel Bookmarks. If you love photography, take a look at Grain, a pro-level camera app built on Google's CameraX framework. It comes with a real-time OpenGL preview, so what you see on screen is exactly what your photo will look like. There's also an expanding library of film presets for golden hour shots, retro styles, and just about anything you want to experiment with. You can fine-tune grain, tones, color profiles, and create your own film looks. Outside the filters, it behaves like a normal camera app with all the controls you'd expect. I've tried plenty of minimalist launchers, but Phi Launcher manages to stand out. It's smooth, modern, lightweight, and manages to balance speed with useful features. There's a built-in clock widget, quick shortcuts, and the ability to pin apps to your home screen. Swiping left brings up a built-in to-do list, and swiping up opens a customizable app drawer. The settings menu is packed with personalization options, and there are privacy features like biometric app locking, usage stats, and even friction delays that help prevent you from opening distracting apps too quickly. Focus mode and a digital well-being dashboard are also included. For something simple and calming, Countly is a light and minimal app for setting up countdowns. You can create events, personalize them however you like, and everything stays local on your device. It switches easily between light and dark themes, and it loads fast. It's still fairly new, so hopefully we'll see a home screen widget added in the future. Cleaning up your gallery doesn't have to be painful, and Clean Sweep makes the process surprisingly easy. It uses a Tinder-style swiping layout where you swipe right to keep, and swipe left to delete. It loads all your image and video folders, and once you pick a folder, you just start swiping. It can also find duplicates, group similar photos, and pull still frames from videos. It's open source, works offline, and genuinely makes cleanup less frustrating. If you prefer great sound over visuals, Bass Booster Pro is a quick way to upgrade your audio. It includes a bass boost, an equalizer, and a loudness enhancer that works with any music or streaming app. It especially shines with headphones or car speakers when you want a more powerful sound. The layout is simple, light, and focused on what actually matters, improving your listening experience. For your home screen, Life Widget adds clean and minimal widgets that show how much of the current day, month, and year has passed. You can also create your own countdowns and place them on your home screen, whether it's counting down to an event, tracking days since an anniversary, or monitoring long-term goals. You can change colors, fonts, backgrounds, and even add your own images. If you've been craving a polished, modern video player, Material Player is an excellent choice. It handles both local videos and online streaming links, supports picture-in-picture -picture mode, has a clean folder layout, gesture controls, and a volume booster. No ads, no clutter, completely free, and, most importantly, actually enjoyable to use. For offline music playback, check out Pixel Play. It's a newer music player built with Material Hotra. You design and smooth animations, 
You can play local audio, view lyrics, create playlists, and even generate new playlists with Gemini AI. You can choose which folders to scan, adjust sorting, and enjoy its clean, bold interface. It's still in early development, so it's missing things like a sleep timer and gapeless playback, but the design alone makes it interesting. And finally, Lotus, another simple offline music player that focuses more on function than visual flair. It's open source, released earlier this year, and comes with clean, easy-to-navigate tabs. You can reorder them, create playlists, use the built-in equalizer, and even set a sleep timer. If you want something practical, stable, and minimal, Lotus is a great option.